981. Worst date of the week coming up after 7.30 this morning. Need to get an update on why am I still single last Thursday. Spark something that we're going to continue to try to do or, or at least make it an option. And this happened organically last um, last week. We had Josh and Kayla on the show. They were matched up to meet. They're b- both blindfolded. And as the date was going on, we could we kind of just got the sense that it wasn't going to be a match in the end. And not only did we feel that way, but uh, those on the Tracy's collision cam were commenting too. Cold, 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 cold. Everybody's saying cold. Well, while this is happening, we had Krista message the show and says, I think this guy is for me. And this never happened before. Where we took Kayla aside and said, hey, if you want to bounce out of this, you can because there's another girl that wants to meet him. And she said, yeah, I don't, I'm don't. i not really feeling it. We said, okay. So we brought the other girl in, and then she and Josh hit it off. And they both said hot, and they both exchanged information. Now we have an update from Josh. I know you said it's a quick one. Don't tell me what it is yet. Okay. I won't tell you. Let, let's just talk about this for just a second. All right. Because so I have a brief update from Josh. He sent us a message on... Like, prompted. He sent us a message. Okay, okay. But then I asked Kayla to be on, and she said she can't be on until, like, oh, she can pop on right now. Right now? She Either or 740. She said she's got to get it. The, I'll probably be right in the middle of getting my kids going at 720. Um. So I don't know how you want to handle that. Or I can ask her to just, like, give us a typed up update. Can we, can, okay, let's do this. Let's take a quick break and then we'll come back and get her on. So we're like three minutes. It'll, okay. It's going to take that long to get her on anyway. Okay. Okay. All right. When we come back, uh, we'll have Krista on the show and she'll give us an update and we'll tell you what Josh said and we'll see whether or not this has, um, you know, if this is going to work or not. Why am I still single update is coming your way next. Wake myself, wake, wake myself with the All right. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Happy Monday. Good morning, Johanna. What's up? Had a good weekend. Yeah. Yeah, I got a busy weekend. I was like, my weekend went by way too fast. All right. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Kate, um, is she on? No, I sent it. Okay. Oh. Jerry, you almost made money off of me. And can you believe this? That it was my husband that ended that that little thing that you're selling? Yeah. I was like, yeah, I'm going to buy it. And then I was like, oh, I'll show Dan, show Dan, because I knew he got rid of the one thing like it. And he goes, Johanna, I literally just got rid of the exact day. <laughs> I was like, why did you do that? I think I want that. The red one. Did I show you the red one or just the brown one? Yeah, I like the red one a lot, too. The red but... one's gone. Oh, you already sold it. it up today. Yeah, brown one's still available. That was fast. I already knocked 10 off the brown one. I would have painted it black. Really? If it's going to be in the front of my house, it just wouldn't match my aesthetic. You would no. put that cooler in the front of your house? Like if I had people over? Do you realize you guys have party you in the ba- front yard? Have you seen my backyard? No, I'm just, I've never, I guess. Yeah, you my- have. You peeked over. Johanna. You've seen my backyard. It's I'm- a mountain. What am I supposed to have people like leaning, standing? You know, let me finish my sentence. I didn't know you were front yard partiers. I don't know that I've seen that before. We don't do that on South Side. I don't see a lot of front yard parties. Oh, I'm sorry, because you guys are all rich with nice backyards. Mm. What do you want me to say? I, I, <laughs> I apologize. I don't know why you throw insults my way. You just threw insults at me. I, All I said was I've never seen. We don't seen. do that on the south side. What is that? That's an insult. Kyle, you party in the front? Uh, I party everywhere, you know? Kyle, do you, you do Kyle. not. You Thank cannot you pick Kyle. both sides. Don't drag me into this. You, what side do you party on? Because I know I've seen, I've seen your videos. Kyle, it doesn't matter. Kyle. If you had a backyard that was a literal hill that people can't party on, then you don't party back then there. Then where would you party? It's a liability. She's acting like the hill is immediate. It's a, it's a slope about halfway in the yard, and then it goes down. If it ain't safe Gary. for the kids, it ain't safe for people drinking. 
Gary, I literally get winded walking up it. <laughs> Like, it makes me tired. I'm not saying that there's not height to the hill. There is. But it's not, like, from the back porch. Because you have a deck. I don't know why you're trying to argue this. Like, I'm you're going to be right ever. I'm like, you're not, not. I'm not trying to argue this. Yes, you are. All I did was make an observation. I've never seen a front yard party before. And then you put a cooler in the front yard. I've never seen that. Candy says, I see a lot of people in my neighborhood on the south side hanging out in their driveways. Thank you, Candy. No, it's different. Okay, you're talking about cul-de-sacs. What? Yeah. Why are you implying she lives on a cul-de-sac? Talking about, no, uh, because a lot of those do do garage parties, like in the in the I big like, neighborhoods. I like hanging out in the garage, and um, I got a long driveway. It's a good place to throw some bags. I feel like you're making fun of me for oh, being you're... poorer than you, and I don't oh, like okay. it. Okay, do we need to tell me how much money you make? You're doing just fine. <laughs> kind of scared to get this update. I'm not. Krista joins us now via the Tracy's Collision Cam. Hey, Krista. Good morning. So let's take everybody back to last week. You're listening to the show as you're driving to work, and you hear a guy on there, Josh, he talks about fishing, he talks about his kids, and all of these things that you're you're relating to and how you're having a hard time finding that yourself. So you message the show and say, I would like to meet Josh. For the first time ever, we had a Why Am I Still Single steal, which, by the way, we're going to continue to have as an option for those that listen to the show. So you started something new. I want you to know that. You're trailblazer. <laughs> now, we don't know whether or not this worked out. You guys both said hot. You exchanged, uh, exchanged information, and here we are, what, four days after, and we're curious if this has gone anywhere. What do you what, what do you think, Krista? What do you how's it going um, with him? It didn't. He's really nice, not a huge talker, but we just didn't have a connection in person. So you did meet up together? Yes. We did go out on a date oh. on um Friday. <clears throat> Friday we went to Texas Roadhouse and they always have a long wait, so we had like oh. thirty minutes to an hour <laughs> yeah. waiting and talked a little bit, and then um, ate dinner and then parted ways. But um, we talked a little bit leading up to the date. But like I said, he's not a huge talker, yeah. Uh, and we just didn't have a connection. Yeah, and that happens. Well, at what point did you realize that this probably isn't gonna? Isn't going to happen. When we were talking over the phone, um, but I thought maybe he's just not very talkative, you know, through text message or whatever. Yeah. And so I was like, maybe it'll be better when we meet in person. Mm -hmm. And then it wasn't much better when we met in person. And oh. he's super sweet. But Did you tell him? Did you, Are you the one who initiated that? Did you say this is not going to be a thing? Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 and I thanked him. I said, I thanked him for taking me out on a date and wish yeah. him all the best. But yeah. what, what did he say when you told him that? Um, he said, you're welcome. And you too, something along those lines. <laughs> yeah. He's not a man of many words. Yeah. He messaged <laughs> us too. And, and we didn't even ask him to. He just sent us a message and I haven't heard it yet. And Johanna's going to read it now. But yeah, I'm gonna it read also it is very short. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't say much to us either. What do so, you say? Uh, Saturday, uh, Saturday at night, he said, we didn't click. So sometime can I get back on the show? <laughs> 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 oh, man. Well, yeah. dang it. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry that didn't work out for you. That's okay. Yeah, But we would love to have you back on the show, too, Krista. At some point, <laughs> yeah. you'd like to do Why Am I Still Single? We can try this thing. We can try this thing again. Yeah, and, and we know what you're looking for, right? You already kind of told us and what you were, what you liked about Josh. So we can keep our eye out for that kind of guy, and you yeah. know, if you're interested. Okay, maybe. Okay. Yeah, I just, I just found out this weekend there's another couple I didn't realize that I got married from meeting on this show. Is that right? Yep. Yeah, we're, yeah. We, we we have a pretty good track record, I'll yep, say. Yep, it works sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> it does work. All right, Krista, thank you for jumping on here quick and giving us that update. You take care and have a great day, all right? Okay. Bye. See you later. Bye. Oh, yeah.
I didn't know they went on a date. Okay, I'm going to maybe do this cam only, but I want to... Maybe I shouldn't talk about this, but I'm going to. How are we supposed to handle situations like when people that we have on, then there's people commenting not very nice things about them? Somebody just said that? No, but that happened Who were on, they? on Thursday. Oh, uh, yeah. Who were they saying about? They were just saying like... Boy, girl. Talking about the person? Yeah. A girl. I talked about it. The first one. Did you not hear any of that? Mm-mm. I don't really, very seldom when we have like a, a guest on, a boy, right? I don't look down at the, mm-hmm. I don't look down at the comments when we're talking to somebody. Like, let me just say, I'm not saying anything specific, but let's just say, let's make a hypothetical situation, okay? okay. Let's get hypey with it. Okay. So next week we have a couple on, we, we match two people up and then someone messages or comes on the cam and says, this guy's a cheater. Okay, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and is commenting that like mm-hmm. excessively. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yes. How do we handle that? Because you can't really just take someone's word. You don't know. I think the three of us ignore it. Okay. I, yeah, Whatever I happens on the cam, we can't control what anybody says, no, I know and we don't have to really have time to even address it. So we just ignore it the whole time. But this is my second question. Yeah. Does there come a point that you block it or no? I can hide them. But is that deceitful? I'm not a big hider fan. Like when I'm not I go a back big and see, there's people that work at the radio station here that hide stuff, comments, and I don't like it. Especially when I unhide it to read it myself, I'm like, why did they hide that? I know. Now I, there are some I, times I think, that it's hidden, and I understand it, and Kate, I agree. I don't think you understand the hiding the comments thing. I know that some people do hide comments, but there are trigger words that are built into like someone. I know that, but I don't think that's the case here, Joanne. You're telling me that this is something that like Facebook hid. Yeah, sometimes yes, Facebook, sometimes will Facebook, hide. Facebook will I get that. I get that. I get that. I don't know that so that's So for the, the longest time, some comments were hidden and we thought it, we were like remember we were like finally we talked to some people and we were like okay, why are you hiding these comments? This is so stupid. It's because it had SHIT in it. And and that's automatically if you ever say SHIT on our page, Facebook get, yeah. automatically hides it. Automatic. It doesn't matter what the context anything is. It doesn't matter. You could say Froggy is the ch- can then they would hide it. What about the chat? Can you change? Can we all just change? <laughs> probably it? you could probably <laughs> say <Jack>. chat. <laughs> yeah. People get creative. They use exclamation point instead of an I. Mm-hmm. Uh, I never know which one to use. Like exclamation to me, it looks like it'd be like an L almost. S H L T, and I'd be confused. Slit. <laughs> She's a slit. No, <laughs> too close. Uh, morning, Darren. Good morning. I think it's Darren. Uh, oh, man, my arm is just... Yeah, why do they allow you to use the emoji, Christina, but you can't say it? Because that means poop. You can say poop. Doo-doo. You can say all the other words. Crap. Is that what you think of when you see that emoji, though? I think of poo. You think of poo? Yeah, it's a pile of poop. <laughs> um, what do you say? You say it's the poop emoji. You don't say it's a sh- emoji. That's true. The guys are the shark. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Andrew. <laughs> Thanks, uh, That's funny. Hey, he was going to the spring games on Saturday, right? Yeah. <sighs> I wanted to go so bad, but I think we're going to have to miss. Going back to the farm. Are you? Hey. Yeah. You're going back to the farm, are you? Uh-huh. How come? Because I want to see my pops for Easter, but we're not going back for Easter because of a reason. I can't remember why. Mm. I think one of my sisters can't go. So we're going to have all the cousins go and do Easter at Grandpa's house. Rock chalk. Rock chalk, Darren. Rock chalk, Jayhawk. I don't understand that. I don't either. (laughs) (laughs) Not a real fan. I don't know what it means. I don't get it. But I say it. Rock the chalk. You stay in school, kids. Rock that chalk. That's yeah, what people it are, like people are complaining, Lindsay, about it because it's an uh, East Coast people are complaining because the tip off is at nine twelve for them. My husband got second place in a bracket. Did he How? have KU win at all? KU going? basketball guy, huh? No, he didn't even have KU. Huh. That's not why he got beat. He had 
Yeah, he was in first place until the very end. Yeah. Rock Chalk, we're heading to Lawrence at noon to spend the night. All right. Ashley, I'm feeling much, much, much better. Let me tell you a quick Rock Chalk story. Oh Get out of here, lover boy. Oh, I'm going to go sleep. You let when me I, know. You'll like this story. I may have told it before, so tell me if I have. Why? Right. <laughs> I was. I like this story. I went to college close to Lawrence. In 1990, they played, one of them years, 99. I wasn't born. They played for, <laughs> is that right? Yeah. They played in the Final <laughs> Four. They ended up losing, but they played in the Final Four. I think, I think they lost the championship game. Anyway, there's a huge party on campus. And I don't know if it is similar to Nebraska, like back in the day when they won the national championships. I don't know if they, in Lawrence, Kansas, they would block off. They barricaded the streets uh, of the campus of KU. And it's just live bands outside. People are drinking. It's crazy. I see people climbing light poles. <laughs> They're climbing light poles. For why? To, just to touch the top. It's like a little game you play, oh, like yeah. carnival game. Yeah, but Look it's a slippery. Light pole. It's a slippery light pole. There's no, you can't get nothing on. Why it. is it slippery? Because there's nothing to grab onto. So it you feels really like you gotta. Get splinters. No, it's metal. Slippery metal ones. Slippery metal. So I say I didn't to myself, know in the 90s I think they had metal ones. I think I can do that. I think I can climb the top oh, one. Of them Shut seconds. up. Yes. Did you? So. so Sorry. <laughs> I took my shoes off, and I start climbing. And I feel like I'm laboring, right? Because it's not easy to grab. And I'm climbing, and I'm climbing, and I'm climbing, and I'm climbing. He's going to say laboring to a pregnant woman right now. Like, yeah. I'm going to think it's something. All of a sudden, I hear something. Phew. What the hell? Someone hear shot a bullet. Phew. I look down. People are throwing beer bottles at me. <laughs> <laughs> People are throwing back. I took one to the ribs. I'm like, what Why the hell? Why are they throwing beer bottles at you? Huh? It's because they started throwing beer bottles at people that are trying to the climb light poles. They thought it was funny. That was their game. Their game was trying to hit them. <laughs> right? And I hear my friends tell, get down, Gary, get down. So I'm like, how am I going to get down? I'm up, I'm up so high. And I look down, and I ain't lying. I was about four feet off the ground. <laughs> get down. That's so all they weren't the yelling. further I made Literally it. Really, his friends were like right beside him saying, just go ahead and get down, buddy. And he my friends were probably the ones yelling. throwing the bottles. Uh they didn't really have to throw him and just do a no. toss at that point. <laughs> yeah, high enough. <laughs> oh, man. <sighs> Should be a good game, though. Should be. You going to watch it? I don't know. Who's playing? Nebraska. <laughs> What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Oh, the basketballs. Um, the basketballs. Uh, the basketballs, she said. <laughs> Tar Heels in Kansas. Yeah, I'm, surprised. I'm actually surprised. I know spurts. <laughs> I'm really good at them. Spurts of sports. I know a lot of spurts. Sports. Um... Yeah, we're still looking for a guy for Kayla. Do you have anybody for Thursday? No. Do you? No. <laughs> I do not. Uh, <sighs> do not. Kyle? Mm-mm. I need, we need people for lots of stuff. Yeah, it's just... We need an I do IQ couple for tomorrow. Excuse me. Um. <clears throat> yeah, Kyle. Usually, there's something Somebody just follows that. They they would do it with their kid. Oh yeah, that was kind of fun. Fuller and her son. That was kind of fun. Kendra said she would. Okay. Kayla said she would. Do, do it with, with their parents, sibling mom. or yeah. parent. A parent. I don't care. Okay, let's reach out to one of them and get them booked so then we know and then we can make up questions. Let's do it. Kayla, do you and your mom want to do it? Is that Kayla Kayla was on uh -huh. last Thursday? I met her mom. Well, you know what her mom told me? That Kayla did not want to come on. Why am I still single? She didn't. Her mom had to convince her. I told you that. I've told you this. <laughs> you told me the same story? I didn't tell you that her mom had to convince her, but I told you that she was hesitant to come on. Yeah. Her mom said she told me she had to convince her. And you find her a good man, she told me. Yeah, and we didn't do her justice yet. 
Kayla. Oh, jeez. You said you would. <laughs> oh, I feel like I'm sweating underneath my boobies. You can't, Listen to this craziness. At the garage sale, I saw two kids I graduated with. No, not only graduated with, kids that I went from elementary, from kindergarten, to my senior year of high school with. I remember you ran over and told me about two one of them. Two of them. That two one. of them. No, don't. We can't. No, I'm not. But two. Two. Isn't that crazy? I graduated with like 35 yeah. people. What are the odds? And I and I grew up three hours away from here. It's Is that crazy. not insane? That's insane. Kayla says we won't be able to tomorrow because my mom works tonight, so she won't be off in time. And you want to know how douchey I sounded to the one kid? How douchey? I didn't really think it. Listen to this, first of all. What? It's really anti-douchey because it shows you how much I don't realize what I do. Mm-hmm. Because I did not say this because of that, but it could have been misconstrued with by the people around me that that's what I meant. Yeah. I said, do you know me? Oh, my God, that sounds <laughs> terrible. I know. Do you know who I am? Do you know? I did. But I meant it as in, like, do you remember me from school? Yeah. Nobody bought the picture, Heather. But everybody around me, though, hey, I have the picture if anybody wants it. Uh, Kyle did not go on his on his weekend drunk fest party fest deal. Yeah. His dive bar tour. Wifey was uh, not feeling well. <clears throat> Listen to your favorite morning show on the Tracy's Collision Cam. Every morning. Just head over to Facebook. Facebook.com slash Froggy981. So you told me, by the way, Johanna's pregnant. <laughs> we, still have to, we still have to tell people <laughs> no, that I like, know. when they see you because you're not like, there's not like a big bump yet. It's getting there though. I feel, yeah. I'm feeling really pregnant now. It could still be mistaken for it. Like you were, ju- you were just telling people on the Tracy's collision cam, you ran into a couple people at the garage sale that you went to school with. Yeah. They could have thought. She's oh. gained a few yeah. since high school. Oh, poor yeah. girl. Me- right, yeah. Remember that homecoming queen? <laughs> <laughs> so you still have to tell people, I'm pregnant. At some point, you won't have to still be a bowling ball in there. But you told me, I don't know if this is supposed to be in confidence or for radio. Always. What? That you've gained more weight than what you thought. No. I did not. What are you talking about? You said something about gaining a lot of weight here I recently. said I feel like, oh my gosh. Mm. No, I never said that. I have not weighed myself the, the since baby, the last time, and I actually weighed less than I thought I was going to weigh. The baby had gotten bigger than what you would thought. Why are you saying I've gained weight then when the baby's gained like four inches? I thought it was a banana size, 10 inches. It is. A, yeah. What the heck are you saying? <laughs> Kyle, you're in here with these conversations. Why are you so quiet? Did I ever say, oh, man, I just gained a bunch of weight? Didn't she say something about bigger than she thought or something I like that? F- I said, I feel like I'm bigger. I know well, woman not knows to her own say body. anything, regardless if a woman's pregnant, about her weight. So she, I'm gonna thank you. It. I'm going to sit this one out. You let her say it. You don't she re- reiterate did what say she said. It. She did say no, it. No, I didn't. Did I say, I went and weighed myself, and then I realized that I'm weighing more than I thought I no. should, or more than I should. That's what you just said, that I weigh more than I should. She said she was in your weight class now. I was joking about a jiu. I was making a jiu. You're t- this is all based off that jujitsu <laughs> joke. I didn't know that's a joke. Me saying I'm probably oh. in your weight class now, making fun of my body because I'm pregnant, and you thought I literally am in your weight class. How much do you weigh? You think I weigh what? Two ten? How much do you weigh? About there. About there. <laughs> <laughs> No. Listen. No. I wanted to I talk about. I didn't weigh 210 when I was 38 weeks I, pregnant with twins. What are you talking about? I did about? not put those words in your mouth. Listen, I'm trying to talk about something beautiful for just a moment. Oh, so beautiful. Joanna, it sounds like you're fatter than you should be. That, that is, is what beautiful. you said. No, I, I, not, I feel fatter. You said that. I said I feel fatter. What woman doesn't say I feel fatter? A woman can eat a piece of lettuce and say I feel fatter. I'm just agreeing with the way you feel. You said specifically, oh my God, go back and listen to what you said. You said, I did, but I was. Ha- I don't know if I'm supposed I to tell was- anybody this, but apparently you weigh a lot more than you should now. Because of the health of the baby. What are you? 
<laughs> That's <laughs> why. That because means. it's a big baby. And it's going to be an athlete. No All these things you said. Baby. I said, I'm athletic, so the baby's an athlete. What are you saying? I was trying to celebrate the size of the baby. <laughs> oh, my gosh. The baby is on track. The baby is a normal size. Never mind. For a 20-week a baby. It's malnourished. No, it's a normal size baby. Just let it be normal. You're losing weight. Oh Never happened God. before. Oh Johanna's losing gosh. weight on this pregnancy. No, I am not. You are ridiculous. How have you learned anything? No. <laughs> I learned nothing. Uh, but Never. yeah, I feel really fat right now. <laughs> there you go. There's your update. You're listening to Gary and Johanna in the morning. Keeps me moving when I'm stuck in traffic. On Froggy 98. I don't know if I'm supposed to tell anybody, but Johanna is bigger than she's supposed to be. I was just saying what you said. Oh my gosh. That is not what I said. Oh, my uh, God. Yeah. Gary Green with twisted words. I yes, no words. like literally everything you <laughs> just said is nothing I right ever words. said. Gary is the best at twisting things up for right. sure. Right. I don't even know how he comes up with some of this stuff. <laughs> I want to know how he gets from A to B. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's scary about that is then you know that like everything you say to him is in his head not in the right way. <laughs> so like you can't even trust the things you say to him because he's probably thinking it's the complete opposite. It's like a drying machine in there. You throw it in and then it just comes out completely different. Uh, well, that's how it is, Kyle, with you and your partying. You know, it's <laughs> like you're just a casual driver. Drinker, but in my head, you're some type of yeah. Yeah, you're a problem. Alcohol. Like, you literally, problem? you have like, a problem. I'm waking <laughs> up at like 9 a.m. Just yeah. like literally every time. Let's you see go! You. <laughs> yeah. Like I walk around with a beer helmet on I don't, all day. In my like, head, <laughs> I don't think there's a time of day that I couldn't ask you if you wanted a beer and you would decline. I think there is you a would, time of day. When? There is. Before noon. Before noon. Okay, come on. You've yeah. never drank before noon? Well, it depends. If, if I'm nursing something. I didn't get I may enjoy a slow orange beer to help fight off some of the hangover, but I'm not doing it two days in a row. Oh, um, man, I am really sweaty under there. Hmm. Right, Heather? We went from Joanna is too fat to the baby is malnourished. <laughs> you said both those things. Which one do you want? With, why can't you just make it normal? I don't understand why you have to make it so bad. You don't feel under my booby. Oh, is it sweaty? Oh, it's so sweaty. I don't know why. Yeah, I'm sweaty note. too. Yeah, I have a lot of sticky notes. Can I have co- one? What color? I would say yellow, green, yellow. purple, let's go. red, let's or blue. Go. Let's go yellow for now. Oh, this is for no. that. Yeah, yellow. Oh, if it's for the thing, yeah. Yellow caution. I think it's a go. Mm. I like orange beer. That one. Did you see the picture I took with the listener? Yeah. My shoulders look so narrow. You looked really small to me. I don't know why. It's you like the like angle a, like, of that. You looked sick. I did. We're talking I, about malnourished. I I'm know. Saying right now, you looked malnourished. I know. I did. I didn't uh, like it. So that's not very nice of you. You're getting skinny, and then you're calling me fat. What? No, you said you felt fat. Here we go. I said I feel fat. I said I feel fat, and then you said I weighed more than I'm supposed to. You this took, is I look fat. You took me this, saying this, I. This this is the classic. <laughs> I feel fat today. To your husband. Like, what the hell is he supposed and to say And then my about husband that? telling random strangers, hey, Joanna weighs more than she should. That's the equivalent. <laughs> this is what we do for a living, Joanna. I tell you I feel fat, and then you tell the random people, strangers, that I, w- I literally weigh more than I should, people which is not following. true. These are not strangers. These are family. This is family. Everybody, first Every first. single person who listens is family and friends. I call them that. Every single person? Even the ones who aren't very nice? I don't know very many not nice ones. Tell you what, there's some. There's certain things we can talk about that they are, cause they come out of the word woodwork. Well, they, they do. Not? Easy beat, easy beat Greensboro. Oh, you know what? Easy beat is better. I rolled yesterday. You know who I rolled with? Phil. No. A girl. <laughs> Sensei. For your first time back? Yeah. Cause Probably because he was like, oh, my I'll gosh. He, he started wants- to. He started to take it easy on me, and then and then he didn't. But he didn't choke me. Yeah, he, didn't, right. he didn't submit me. He did it. He did not submit do me. You, do you, okay, like, for all the times you missed, do you pay or no? Yeah. 
You still paid for all those classes that you missed? It's a monthly fee, yeah. Oh, yeah, never mind. I went and watched. Remember, I went and watched sometimes. Well, maybe, maybe if you, maybe he wanted to like not let anybody else roll with you because he was like, we cannot let Gary get hurt again. No. So he was like, he I was really surprised the rib people. made it. Like I, when I was rolling, practicing, I'm like, I don't know, guys. You're surprised the rib made it? Yeah. I'm thankful. Gosh. <laughs> yeah. Last week was not a good week for neither of us. It was especially not for you. No. Especially. The beginning of the was week, I sick? I knew Did it. I have a real, fit, no re- real thing wrong with me? Yes. Did you? No, you just didn't work out. <laughs> you know how many times I've been sick working on this show? And that's when I feel like I'm even the, at my best sometimes. Yeah, because you get to take drugs. So? I'm pregnant. I can't take drugs. Okay. Well, yeah, I could, but I won't. Let's start that rumor now. <laughs> Joanna said that she could, so that means she 100% does. <laughs> hey, we're going to do a little tease on the date, if you can pull it up. Everybody go come. Collision Cam is live. Facebook.com slash Froggy981. Worst state of the week. Oh, my gosh. Every week we highlight a terrible date that happened and somebody bring them on the show. You two have both have, uh, know about this date, yes? A little bit. Yeah. This one is crazy. Like I cannot I cannot believe this happened. This is like unreal to me. Like this is like I feel like something that would have happened in um, an American Pie movie. Like I don't under, I don't understand how this happened. I is need it, more details. Is it uh, I don't know if I need more details, but I need more details, you know? Guy or girl that's coming on? Girl. What can you tell us? I can tell you that this man that came to this girl's house. He came to her house? I, mean, I, I don't really know if there... I'm assuming there wasn't a date before, and it ended up at her house, maybe? Oh, nightcap, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, nightcap. Mm-hmm. And um, he may have participated in some activities that uh, she didn't... didn't I don't she even know what to say. She wasn't, she wasn't participating in with him. Is that what I think it? Probably. <laughs> no. <laughs> Probably. How did you won't believe it? I can't believe she, it. How did she know? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. What do you mean exactly? Exactly. How did she know? You'll find out how she knew. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Is that what it is, what I'm thinking it is? Probably. I don't want to say it. I don't, I don't want you to because you ruin it every time. I know. Let's just all use our imagination here, folks. And then you have to but that means he out. was into her, right? Or himself. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the way that works. I don't know. I'm telling I you. Know. I can't believe that's what this is. <laughs> that's what this is? Maybe. I don't know what you're thinking. Oh, we're going to get an email. Well, thinking. we're going to get an email over this. Probably. <laughs> I don't care. I had to hear. I had to hear the more of the story. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if corporate's you listening. You got to hear more of it. Corporate yeah. ain't listening. That's a lie. <laughs> Earring says. Well, corporate. Try to keep us you in know, check. In quotations. <laughs> if corporate's listening, I apologize. Oh my god! If she's gonna come on the show. <laughs> yeah, and tell us about it. And I can't wait. But I can't. But I can't. I don't know. It's What's her crazy. name? What's her name? Sarah. Okay, Sarah will join us via the Tracy's Collision Cam, and we will hear. If you're not following us, I'm not. I don't even know. I'm guessing. As to what actually happened, we'll all find out together when she joins the show next. Wake up, wake up. My God. Oh my God, you're kidding me. <laughs> <laughs> nope. You're kidding me. Nope, but I'd probably have the delay on just in case. Yeah, for sure. But they say, you know. <sighs> It's supposed to like. No, just stop. <laughs> just stop. Let it play out, man. 
I just like, in what world where do you, you as a person think that you that's okay to do? Where did you see this? She commented it her. a while ago. She did. And then I asked her to come on today because we already had someone booked for the other week mm-hmm. or whatever. And then I couldn't, my pregnancy oh my brain, God. so while I'm golfing yesterday, I was like, I couldn't remember somehow couldn't remember the story so i was like looking 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 for it and then i was like why don't i just ask her and so then she sent me a brief little oh my god message about it this is gonna be a crazy one y'all what i was talking to the listeners yeah and that's insane oh my gosh hey don't forget about today's hometown hot list keyword she today is lincoln did yeah she i sent it i know but did you just see what she just sent Mm-mm. She just sent a picture. Go to it. I Shrabby, think she, Shrabby Shrabby she has. Dates. Does she need the the app? She said, what do I click? Do you mm. see it? What, Gare? No, nothing. Oh. I was talking about the hometown hot list. Guys, I bought way too much stuff at the garage sale. You did for real? For, I have a sickness. There's something wrong with me. I have a sickness. I saw right afterwards going to the ATM. Like, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> well, what gives me is I. What'd you get? I got some vintage pictures to go on this. Like, I'm making this, like, wall of pictures in my house. And then I bought Philo, like, an old vintage purse. It was really cute, all beaded. Does she like it? Yeah, she loves it. It comes with a widow purse, she said, because it came with a wallet. <laughs> oh, it's a purse with a widow purse. I was like, yeah. And then I got, she has this like old little glass case. It's like really small glass case that she puts little trinkets in. Yeah. So I bought her these like little like glass trinkets from this old lady to put <laughs> in her little thing. Frankie didn't really get anything. Um, And then I bought some books and that's about it but still oh and i bought a ring i tried haggling this lady so okay listen to this i don't feel great about it i wanted this ring but she had the price was 35 dollars. i said i ain't spending 35 dollars. i am not i am not so i said to the lady i said i'll pay you 20 and she goes oh my gosh no this is Art Deco. This is a special, special ring. This is from the 20s. Blah, yep. blah, blah. Yep. Okay? Yep. Yep. I said, no, ma'am. I cannot pay more than $20 for this. So I left. Could not get the thing out of my head. I said, I need that ring. It was so cool. So I went back, and she sold it to me for 30 She goes, you are getting this huge deal. I'm like, okay. A huge deal. You came up $10. Yeah, I came up $10. And but you she still only got went a down discount five. on it. Yeah. She only went down 5 though. That's okay. You both win. I still wanted it really bad. You know, I, I was like, would you I have paid thirty five for it? You circle back around. Would you pay thirty five for no. it? No, I wanted. I, I, you don't understand. When I get in my head that I'm not going to pay that price, I'm not going to pay that. What price. What if she do thirty three? No. Hmm. Thirty was like my cutoff, I think. And then I just said, I have to buy it. Listen yeah. here, I look that ring up. I got a steal. Oh no! How much was it? Oh, I found the same one, like very similar for two hundred. <laughs> oh my god! I know. I how am I supposed to know? I mean, and, and here's the thing. You feel bad? Shouldn't? No. It's the art. That's no. the game. She only went down five dollars. It's not like I like super haggled her. She needs to know her products too. Yeah. She did know her products. She told me she's like, "You're getting a steal," and I did get a steal. I think she's just trying to sell, you know. Yeah, I say so. How old is this girl we're having on? I'm so curious. This is like, Sarah Schultz. You, she's a she's a listener. Like, Sarah Schultz. Yeah, yeah, I know that name. Yeah. God, it's a wild, wild west out there, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> what the hmm. like in the dating world? Yeah. You never know what you're gonna get for real. Like, yeah, it's like a jo- box of chocolates, you know? Yeah. You said it like Forrest Gump. I did not. Yes, you did. You never know what you're going to get. <laughs> <laughs> Where is the music? There it is, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Long dong, ding dong. Let me know when you want me to. You can bring her on. Let's test it. So we don't have to do that when she's on. 
I just I need deodorant. I feel like I smell. Are you buying the deodorant that has the the um, the the paper on the outside? Have you seen this? No. There's no plastic. Like it's good for the environment. No, I buy. I, I know you buy the deodorant, the natural deodorant, deodorant. I just didn't know. Mine doesn't you. even come with anything on the top. What's it That's in? how my. But how... what is it in? What do you hold on to? Plastic? Oh, I think it is plastic. That's what I'm saying. Target has them now to where it's paper. Oh, I didn't know that. But is the ingredients natural? If the if it's in paper, I'm sure the ingredients are natural. They're not going to have. I know, but I'm saying like sometimes to do all natural things isn't necessarily good for the environment. Sarah, can you hear us? I can. Can you hear me? You poor thing. I haven't oh, even heard this story yet. I'm so excited to I hear it. I haven't heard this story yet. <laughs> mm -mm. Just be as clean as you can I'm when you describe it. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> right. Absolutely. Okay. The Tracy's Collision Cam is live. Search Frog Mornings on YouTube. Kyle, go ahead and bring our guest on so everybody can see her via the Tracy's Collision Cam. Uh, cam. Her name is Sarah. Sarah joins us this morning for Worst State of the Week. A few moments ago, if you're listening to the show, you know some details. Johanna, can you remind us of the details that you gave? Uh, yeah, it's so hard to, like, beat around the bush. You know? <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, I don't know the first beginning details, but I know eventually the date ends up at Sarah's house. Okay. And her date, the man, is at her house and she sees him doing something he probably, no, you definitely should not be caught doing <laughs> <No>. <laughs> at a house, at someone else's house, for sure. You don't even want to get caught doing this at your own house. So let's back this up. Sarah, where did you Where did you find the guy? Where'd you? Online? So we had met on an online dating app, and we probably talked for three weeks before we decided to meet up. And I live in a small town. He's from... Not here. And he decided, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> he decided he wanted to come down for the whole small town experience. I'm like, all right, sounds good. Um, so he shows up and he's like, let's take a shot. Now, wait a minute. Right. Where are you? Did he come right to your house? He came right to my house, and then we were going to go to the bars. All right. And you felt comfortable with that? Like, you've talked oh, to him yeah. enough? I mean, yeah. We had been talking for a few weeks, so I was like, whatever. Sure. You know, my parents live right next door, so okay. Um, I felt pretty safe about it. So he's probably doing uh, a shot. He probably, maybe he's a little nervous, uh, too, right? He wants to. Right. He probably what? He's probably nervous. A little like, nervous. Trying to, like, um, break the nerves. That's kind of what I was thinking. But I don't think that was the case. Um, he was an alcoholic, yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> like for oh, real. Oh, no. Just wait. So we um, went to the bar. We had supper. And then we decided let's just go back and watch a movie. Because it was starting to get kind of busy. And I didn't want people to see me with this guy. <laughs> like, I barely knew. And um, so we come back. And I kind of stopped drinking. I had maybe one or two at home. And he kept, like, going in the other room. And I'm like, that's really weird. Well, it turns out he was taking pulls of vodka in my kitchen. Oh, my God. Like, sure. he was just drinking on his own. And it got to the point where um, I didn't know what to do. Because I'm like, well, this guy obviously can't drive home. And I had the fireplace on. He literally almost fell back into my fireplace. I had to grab him. I'm like, I am not taking you to the hospital tonight. Like, Oh my gosh. This is not what I'm trying to do with my life. So I tuck him in on the couch. I go to bed. So I'm like, what am I going to do? I can't yeah. let this man drive. The next morning, I wake up to check on him. And he is sitting on my couch, pleasuring himself. <laughs> And literally does not miss a beat. Like, it does not even concern oh. him. Oh, my God. That, <laughs> it does not concern him that I walked in on him. He just looks at me. He's like, hey, you want to join? Going? And I'm like, what are you doing? Jeez. Like, what is life right now? Did he do completion? Honestly, I don't. 
I honestly don't remember. If he did, oh, it's it was trauma. Like, on she my had couch. to block it out. I'm just like, what is happening? So I'm like, okay, I think it's time for you to leave. This is where it gets even crazier. And he's like, well, I really can't. Why can't you? I have a glow and go in my car. I can't leave until I'm sober. What? Oh my god! So like literally this man can go nowhere because he drank entirely too much the night before. He can't even start his car. Oh my god. <laughs> you have to wait until like, he's sober. What do I do? Up? Oh no. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> So he was an alcoholic, like actually. Yeah, yeah. Was. so then he asked me to make breakfast. I'm like, I'm not making you breakfast. Let's go out there. Make me yeah. breakfast. Wow. <laughs> well, I wouldn't want him to use his hands to make breakfast oh either. Which I should have because one of my best friends was at the restaurant eating breakfast with her boyfriend. I'm like, oh God, this is embarrassing. Oh, She's going to ask all about him. So you took we him get to home. Eat? My dad's outside, sees this guy smoking and is just like, who is this? Because my parents are my neighbors. Right. And uh, <laughs> oh. so I think it was finally about three o'clock in the afternoon. He was able to leave. He was there this all was, day. Wait, did he have to wow. like, did he have to, how did he know when he was ready to leave? You Kept know what going I mean? Out and blowing, maybe. He had to try it a couple of times. <laughs> oh my gosh. So we had to keep going. I'm like, well, we'll see. Oh, no. <laughs> and I'm like, I could have made him sit in his car, I guess. But, but then this was like four or five years ago. Two weeks ago, he sends me a message on Facebook Shut asking up. if I wanted to hook up. Oh my God, Sarah. <laughs> Never even kissed the man. Well, at least he oh. wanted you to join for real this time instead of like, you want to watch yeah. me hook up? Like, want to watch me <laughs> do it? Myself? Yeah, at least I was invited. Gary and Johanna in the morning. It's terrible. That is that so is, crazy. Yeah, it was, so embarrassing. Uh, like how, when you saw him, I, I have to go back to the moment that you saw him doing that to himself. Gorgeous. He's, like, he's gorgeous. The first time I met him, like, I'm like, wow, he's really gorgeous. Like he is a good looking guy. Oh my this gosh. is not how I thought that date was going to go. That is too bad. <laughs> you never thought yeah. about blowing in it for him? Well, he could have only made it so far, I guess. Because if you stop at a, oh, if you stop anywhere, you have to blow again, don't you? Yeah. yeah. Well, I think you have to blow like sporadically through your drive. Yeah, something. Because I saw like a video of someone. I didn't even think about it. Like they had to like do it. They were like in the drive-through getting food, and yeah. they're like having to blow. Yeah. In. No way. <laughs> yeah. Sarah, after the after that moment where you saw him on the couch. Did you have to just like pretend like you didn't? Like it, it would never no, got brought up again. No, because he was making eye contact with me. Like oh. I was like I sat down in the chair like on the other side of the room, just like. You sat down in the chair while he was doing that. <laughs> well, I'm like looking at him like, are you gonna stop? Like, what are you doing? <laughs> and he didn't. Like he just kept going. Wow. Yeah, it's kind of one of those like train wreck things where you shouldn't look, but you can't. But you're away. also like. <laughs> Well, so I think it's one of the things that you do. Right you, now. Did, well, you, right. did you leave the room and just like check back and see like what well, the coast is? I sat down clear? for a minute and then I think I like got up and just kind of like went to the bathroom and like. Well, I think like collected you, myself because right. I was like, I don't even know. Aren't you at like. Do I one, call my dad right now? Like. <laughs> right. I feel like I would be like in so much shock that it was happening. Like almost like your brain can't even register that it's like going it, on. Like. It can't like, even function. Am I actually watching this happen in my house? Like, is this yeah. actually happening? Wow. Yeah. That's that is unbelievable. Yeah. That's so crazy. And he just my for him not even. To... Book. You, yeah, you should. You should. Yeah. More of those. <laughs> Sarah, are you still single? Um, I just recently started seeing somebody. I mean, we've been on two dates, but how's it going so far? Obviously, good. good enough to say that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. <laughs> I mean, when you have it to compare to that, I mean, it's got to <laughs> yeah. be going yeah. great. Yeah. Uh, I think he's actually watching. <laughs> the boyfriend or the new guy? Yeah. yeah. Careful. Yeah. Not the other. <laughs> I don't want to get too far ahead of it. Well, thanks for sharing Thank your you, story. Sarah. That was hilarious. Yeah. All right. We'll see you later. Oh, my gosh. Bye. Bye, Bye. Sarah. That is so funny. Oh, gosh. Nightmares. Oh, my gosh. God. 
I wonder if you just thought, like, if she said that he's gorgeous, he probably is gorgeous. Yeah. And does the guy just think he can get away with whatever he wants? You know what I mean? Because he's so hot. Guys who are unattractive think that they can get away with whatever they want. So I'm sure a good-looking guy thinks that he can get away with whatever he wants. I wonder if that's a technique he's tried before and it worked. What? Like, what's the technique? To ask if she wants to join. That's what he said. No, and there's no way. When has that ever worked? What girl is like, yeah, this is really just making me want I don't it. know, Johanna. I'm no, just saying. You think no that's way. the first time he's tried that? Yes. You do. At someone's house? Maybe. I don't know. Wow. <laughs> Poor thing. Oh, my gosh. Sad thing is, is he probably told, <laughs> like tells his friends about that story, and all the guys were like, "Oh, yeah, 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 yeah." Weird guy, we say. I say you, that too. Easy beat. Easy beat. Easy beat. Are you? Uh, you're. Uh, is it Kelly, who got married? That we had on, or what? That was part of. Uh, why am I still single? No. My bad for no. inviting him to my house. You didn't know? No, this is someone who got married. Well, who I was talking about, they've got married quite a while ago. Oh, gotcha. Oh, I think. Oh, Kelly, we had on. Kelly, we had on. Last week. Got married. Yeah, Kelly. Or two weeks was, ago. Yeah, Kelly got married. Yeah. Oh. Sarah, don't apologize for that. I mean, whatever anybody I says. No. And not only that, nobody understands. Well, somebody say that. Just trying to be a good person, right? And keep from drinking and it's driving. Not, well, it's not just that, though. Like, in a lot of situations like that, you, it's easy to look back in retrospect when you're not the person involved and say, why didn't you do this? Why didn't you do that? Sometimes, like, stuff just, like, fl- goes a certain way, you know? And, yeah, you can look back and think to yourself, man, I shouldn't have done that. There's a lot of stuff I shouldn't have done when I was dating guys. Like, even just, like, getting in a car with a guy is not probably a good idea if you don't know them at all. But, like, you still do it. Yes. That's true. That's why you just make sure you tell your friends. Make sure somebody knows. That's the biggest thing, I think. Just make sure somebody knows what you're doing all the time. (laughs) (laughs) Somebody asked you if you'd had your fish sandwich. Somebody asked if I had my... Did someone walk... Because... Wait, who was it? Who asked if I had my fish sandwich? I don't know. Somebody here on the camp? Well, I I made... We, when we went to the magic show, I was like... Dane was like having a good time. And he, they were all like doing shots and stuff. And I said, we need to leave. And everybody's like, oh, mama's tired or something. I go, no, mama was a fish sandwich. Yeah, it's hankering for a fish sandwich too. Yeah, and I still didn't get it. Was that on Friday night? Uh-huh. Yeah, that's right. I didn't get it because we were late. To the magic show? No, we were late getting home. And I didn't want Dane's mom to be there any longer. And so mm. I felt bad about stopping the one thing I wanted. You can stop and get a fish sandwich. No, I didn't because I thought it would take too long. Have you ever gotten a fish sandwich at nighttime? It takes a long time. <laughs> no. They make it fresh? <laughs> yeah, they, a lot of times they make it fresh because nobody is ordering them. Yeah. That's good, though. Yeah, I know. So it always takes a while. You still got it? You guys still got hankering? Me? Yeah. Always. For a fish sandwich? You can't always. have it today, yeah? You got to wait till Friday now. I can have fish any day of the week. Well, I thought about? it was just on Fridays. No. No, you they... can't have meat on Fridays, so you can eat fish. But I can eat fish oh, every I'm day so if confused, I want to. But... Can you have meat today if you want it? Yes. Just today's... not on Fridays? Just not on Friday. <laughs> I was so lost. I thought you couldn't have meat at all. No. It's there for fish on Fridays. Well, that's not so bad. No, it's not bad at all. And really, like... I'm pretty sure, like, the real story behind it, sorry, I'm probably going to offend somebody. I participate, okay, and I participate. Yeah, you can say whatever you want, even if it's wrong, because you're you're all in. But I'm pretty sure the only reason why that was a thing was because they were wanting you to save money. Like, you're supposed to be frugal with your money, and meat costs so much more than fish back in the day, Mm. way back in the day. So it was, like, it was more about... Being frugal with money, and you weren't supposed to eat, like, sides with it. You literally, like, bought the cheapest fish you could buy on Fridays, and that was, like, literally your only sustenance for the day. Yeah. Now it's, like, elaborate, you know? Like, yeah. you can go get, like, lobster yeah, and stuff. So it's kind of, like, lost its 
lost its meaning a little bit along the way, mm-hmm. in my opinion. Yeah. But I just really like fish sandwiches from McDonald's. I don't think I've ever had a fish sandwich. <laughs> a fish sandwich. And I don't like anything else. Sandwich. From, I can't say it. Talk. Um, what's the other one I like? The one that's only there sometimes. The McRib? Yes! Oh, <laughs> oh I love a McRib. But you know what? The last one I had was not, wasn't doing it for me. McRib. I think they changed the formula. It's not the same. <sighs> We're supposed to mention this again, huh? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Don, was it someone told me that the Arby's fish sandwich was really good? Arby's? Yeah. Fish sandwich at Arby's? We have the meats. We have the meats. Yeah, and Nicole says Arby's has a great fish sandwich. Yum. I never would have thought. Wendy's has a good fish sandwich, Nicole says. Different Nicole's. Go get yourself one today, Joe. Love the McRib, Sean says. I don't know. You know what else is really good? What? I had it one time only, so I don't know. What I tried it? that new chicken sandwich from Panera. was really good. Yeah. It was... <sighs> I know everybody... It kind of bothers me that they're doing it. Everybody's doing the chicken sandwich. It's that time of year, yeah? Chicken sandwich time of year? Yeah. Chicken, Why? It's the... Did you say chicken sandwich? Yes. Oh, yeah, never mind. Andrea says Culver's fish is amazing. They got that cod, man. I bet that is good. Yeah. Most of the fish is cod. Hey, anybody see, did you guys watch the Grammys? No. Mm. You see Justin Bieber, what he was wearing? Oh, he had, like, Christina. An I saw suit, right? Christina did a roast on her profile. Oh, I go, oh, dang it. I'm late. For what? Your period? About five months too late for that. <laughs> did, you say, buddy. did you say something about Biebs? Yeah, his over. I saw a picture of him in his what oversized. What the hell is he like, wearing? Suit. Yeah, I don't know. Please don't make that a thing. Are you home? I mean, not that it matters. I won't follow. Hey, can you? I just left those two ferns sitting on the ottoman. Can you just? Or is it nice enough? Can you take him outside? Is mm-hmm. that what she set the alarm for? Mm-hmm. Is it thirty-two degrees out though? Do you think he'll be okay? She set that alarm to let them ferns out. <laughs> <laughs> it's twenty-eight out. Maybe put it, maybe don't put them outside then. Yeah. Set another alarm. <laughs> Set alarm for nine. But can you move them? I just don't want them on the ottoman, huh? The kids will rip them apart. Okay. The kids will rip the ferns apart. Yes, yeah, they're psychos. They're they're animals, man. I cannot believe you set alarm for that. <laughs> they're my babies. Mm-mm. My yeah, other babies. All kinds of babies. Between two ferns. Love it. Between <sighs> four ferns, I have four ferns. <laughs> yeah, four ferns, it's a little much. No, it's not. I'm putting two in my back patio, two in my front. How is that too much? Well, nobody goes in the back, you said. I go in the back. You do. Yeah, what was he wearing? Oh, it's ridiculous. His oversized suit. I know. With the hat, I don't understand. And his wife looks, she's beautiful. Whatever. Here's the thing, is. like... Oversized stuff is cool fashion-wise on certain people, Have you but like seen not him? on men. You can't see his hands. <laughs> <laughs> like, it looks like yeah. big. Have you remember the big with Tom Hanks? Yeah, and he's got a suit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's what he looks like. <laughs> that's a great movie. Oh, it's one of the best. It's so yeah. good. This guy that um, I follow on YouTube, he's really funny, Ross Creations, he does like pranks on people and stuff and one of his pranks is so funny he wears like a big huge suit like that and goes around and talks to people about like his his major weight loss like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah Christina I went and looked at it when you texted me but I I didn't I was really impressed that you had so I thought it was just gonna be a roast she had like 12 roasts on the guy on um, Biebs yeah it's pretty funny should pull it up and I remember when he was up. a man. I used to probably still is a mess, but when he used to get in fights and stuff with just people, fans, and I think he's, I think he's calmed down, calmed down a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I think so. Got married and what's her name? Um, Haley. Haley Baldwin. Baldwin. She's a bald. She's she's yes. Alex. Yeah. Niece. Niece. Oh, oh he does look ridiculous. 
It's so dumb. Like, who told him? Did he tell himself that? or No, somebody someone did it for him. You think so? Yeah, for sure. But they he have, probably also made a ton of money them. to wear that, yeah. You think he cares about that, though? Look like a fool? I've never seen that look before on anybody. Have you? No, I haven't. Well, kind of. I mean, I don't know. It's hard to explain. <laughs> It just means you don't want to. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to explain. I don't want to hear it. I know you don't want to hear it. <laughs> don't want to hear it. Nope. Oh. It is ridiculous. Yeah, it is. And it's like not even like a good suit. Like it he could have accomplished like he got something. What's insane to me is like, okay, let's say it, let's, I'm not, I, I don't judge people for their fashion. I think it's fun when you do crazy fun school stuff. Unless you got a leather coat, yeah. I never made fun of you for that. It was a joke, first of all. Take a joke, sensitive Sally. Anyway. <laughs> Listen to your favorite morning show on the Tracy's Collision Cam. Every morning. Just head over to Facebook. Facebook.com slash Froggy981. First time ever coming to the Pinnacle Bank Arena. Monday, June the 20th, this year. WWE Monday Night Raw. It's a big deal. Whoa. It's a big deal now. <laughs> I mean, this is like the biggest thing that they do, is it not? The biggest thing that they do? Monday Night Raw? I don't know, okay? I don't... You're going to have to explain Well, they have, like, Monday Night Raw. They've got, like, Thursday Night SmackDown. They just had WrestleMania, which is, like, the biggest one. I would say WrestleMania bigger is WrestleMania. Bigger, bigger, yeah. Big you think year. WrestleMania is bigger than Monday Night Raw? Yeah. I don't know about that. They brought back Stone Cold Steve Austin this weekend. Stone Cold no came back. No way! He was smashing beers, kicking people. Stone was? Yeah. ESPN so shared cool. it on Instagram, so that's why I'm up to date. I was going to say, are you a big follower? No, I am not. I want to be. But I know there's a lot of excitement around Raw coming to Pinnacle Bank Arena. Coming to where? Pinnacle Bank Arena. Pinnacle? I thought you said Pinnacle. I didn't know if that was a new term or not. <laughs> it's a new move. I T caught myself stumbling. Oh, that's all right. Tickets are on sale this coming Friday at 10 o'clock, Ticketmaster, and we have an exclusive pre-sale for you. And you got to have the code to be able to do the pre-sale. Mm. That'll be on Thursday. Um, and we have got we have got uh, a guest coming on with us on the cam on Thursday. A real wrestler. I love, I love these. This is like my favorite thing. When you have real ones on? Yes, because I honestly, like we, we interview a, a lot of different kind of people, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. And they're, I think my favorite interviews we've had have always been with wrestlers. Really? Yes, because they're just, I think that they're, like, they're just showmen, you know? I don't know. I always think they're fun. We had, what's her name? Flair? Is it Charlotte? Is it Charlotte Flair? Yeah. We had her on the show. This has been a few years back. She came in, and she's a big deal. Yeah. Do you know who she is? Yeah, she's super hot. I just remember she, like, had her shirt unbuttoned perfectly oh, in the perfect here. amount. Oh, you were in here? Yeah. Yes, I was here. <laughs> yeah. I just was Rick like, like, if one button went down too low, she'd be in trouble. Girls would be out. But she had yeah. it, like, perfect. I was like, that is a gift. Also, what you're covering is a gift. So much of what I can see. She's hot. I, I think I asked a dumb question. Yeah, Do you I remember you that? Did. I don't know. Do you remember that? No, what'd you she ask? She was fighting another girl, and she's talking about how she's going to tear her apart, da 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 I said, you guys really don't like each other, huh? Like, I was getting caught up in it. Yeah. <laughs> and, but, I, you know, I think they're friends. Yeah, probably. Do you know, and they just go out and do their thing and then come yeah. back and then they go shopping together. They're like, I hate her, too. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> she sucks. Yeah, she looked at me like she just wanted to hit me or something. <laughs> like when I asked don't that. talk about my friend uh. like that. <laughs> Uh, so if you want tickets, again, they go on sale. The first time ever, WWE, Monday Night Raw, coming to the Pinnacle Bank Arena, June the 20th. Tickets on sale Friday, pre-sale on Thursday. And Thursday, we will have a wrestler join the show via the Tracy's Collision Cam. Gary and Joe. You're a big you wrestling fan, listen. I know. Well, you better listen Thursday, then. Yeah. Yes. 
He actually yeah. wrestled. Man, drink beer, wrestled. How old is he? I don't know. He's got to be oh, old. Uh, 57. Oh. Stone Cold is that old? I feel like when I was in elementary school, everybody thought he was hot. Stone Cold? I, I what about who? What's the one guy? I do not like him as an actor. He tries to be The Rock, and now he's in a bunch of stuff. John Cena? Yes. He's become a better actor when he first started. He was Cena's never been around forever. Oh, mm-hmm. man. He's trying to follow he's the rocks. He's handsome, too, steps. though. Huh? He's handsome. So, you think Cena's handsome? I think so. Let me look him up. I think so. Would you take Cena or The Rock? You only take one. The Rock, for sure. For sure, The I'm Rock. I'm into that flavor, though, you know? Yeah, you like the Islanders. I like them. John Cena is attractive. Yes, he is. Cam. How do you say John Cena's not hot? John Thank Cena's you. not hot. Don't look at his body. Look at I, his face. It's, I look at the wholeness, and the wholeness got, is nice. He's got like the... He looks like... Yeah, he's handsome. No. Yes, he is. How do you... picture are you looking at? That is not... I mean, he kind of looks like a wrestler there. <laughs> he's in he his looks, wrestling no, outfit. Oh, that's deep. That's, that's, that's like what I'm Cam saying. Cena, yeah, he does. Oh, we don't need that anymore. The friends are fine. Okay. Look at that. Who's hotter? And that looks I like a Jason Momoa type. You take the bottom. Mm-hmm. You're a bottom guy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like there, get on that one. No. I think he looks handsome. Oh, my God. Yes, he does. The hair, the comb me. over is not good. Oh, no, it looks terrible. But I think he's handsome. Oh, who's he kissing here? <sighs> Do you know the guy that was just in the doorway? Johnny? I know he has earrings. I followed with... I've, we're friends on Facebook now, and he does oh. a bunch of um, like wrestling videos and stuff. No way. Yeah, he's huge. Yeah, he's got a. What do you mean he does a wrestling podcast? What do you mean he does That's wrestling all he talks videos. about. That's why he stopped. We started talking about wrestling. Oh, I thought he had to fix something. Fix something? I don't know. No, he's a producer. I don't know what he does. He actually produces, I think. He was. I know he was really helpful with me one weekend when I was doing something. Here. Was he? Oh, I was trying to get the pig head in the freezer. And he was the helper. Right out of the freezer. I don't remember what was happening. Hmm. We say my favorite. Oh, gosh. That's all right. Go ahead and read it. Austin hasn't wrestled 19 years. It would be nice to have someone. <laughs> Wrestler on why am I still single? It ain't gonna happen. What? What are you even saying? How would that even go? <laughs> Win a date with a wrestler. Yeah, get it. That'd get us some applicants. I would say. It'd just be it'd be uh, um, like a wrestling or a virtual date. There's Sean. Yes, Kenny loves wrestling as well. He no, does. No, we know. We are. I already invited Kenny to come in Thursday. We need to start inviting him in more, probably do more stuff. If he wants. To. Well, I don't know if he wants to. I, you say that, but we don't know if he wants to. No, we don't know. What you got there, Kyle? What you got there, Kyle? Just a little kind bowl. You trying to be healthy, are you? I'm He's always, trying, always to trying to be healthy. Is that acai? Yes, Smoothie she... bowl, almond, triple berry, acai, yeah. Shai, acai. I see him like, call him like I see him. I don't know. How's the workout going, Kyle? It's going well. Is it? Hey, so we're going to be at uh, the Denton Daily Double? When? 14th. <laughs> oh, the 14th. Why I don't you set that as an alert in your phone? <laughs> I probably do have it as an alert in my phone. It's not alerting me right now because is it today? No. Can you ask Siri what you have on the 14th? Will it tell you? Does it do reverse like that? I don't even know how to talk to Siri, to be honest. <laughs> I don't. Show us how, Gary. No. No, 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 no. Um, I don't think we have anything going on this week, do we, or this weekend? I hope not. I'm not going to be here. We may have to cancel plans if something pops up. <laughs> Hmm, Nothing mom. pops up. What would pop up? I have a remote on Friday. Do you? Mm-hmm. No, 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 Beggy Joe. I knew that was a Beggy Joe go. 
I need to, I need to call my mom. I need to be better about that. I need to call my mom. <sighs> Me too. We always talk about the same stuff, though. You and your mom? Yeah, what it's like surface about? level stuff. Like, like what? I don't know. How's the weather? That's it. Surface level. Like, I'm at the point where I would not take any advice from my mom about anything to do with life. So, why can't you talk? Like, if anything, I should be giving her advice. But then she don't want to hear it, right? From What what? advice are you going to give your mom? She's done. How about this? Take care of yourself. You don't think she's taking care of herself? I don't know. I think she's taking care of herself. Still drinks quite a bit. I've seen her and my brother with shots of whiskey. That's sweet. You see, they're bonding. She got high. She got hypertension. Oh, then she probably should slow her down. Yeah. Slow her down. Yeah, probably so. You can give her some tips on hypertension. Find out about it. Hmm. Just call her. You'll regret when you can't. I know. I do. Why we talk? But just you know, not like I used to. It makes me sad for when my kids get older. Why? Because they won't talk to you? Yeah. That's not true. You don't know that? Well, it depends. See, I talk to my mom. I used to talk to my mom all the time. I know, but you're Every at that age. Day. I talked to my mom a lot when I was in my 20s. The older you get, the further you get. So you're sad when your kids are your age, is what you're saying. That's sure. a long ways away to be sad for your kids. <laughs> sad for myself, not for my kids. Or sad for you. You were just said sad for kids. I told them. I, might they, I, 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 just, I have to stop doing this. They love eating. It's like we're empty nesters, but not. It's the weirdest thing. They're at high school. But they still come over for it all the time. Of course they do. It's awesome. Yeah. But they always want to get damn cookie dough. And I eat it. I got no willpower. I told them. I told them I'm going to be dead in 10 years. <laughs> you keep doing this, I'm going to be fat and I'm going to be dead. Because I, I cannot it. stop eating it. Oh my gosh! I will order cookie dough and send it to your house now. You're gonna order some cookie dough. <laughs> yeah, it's like some warm cookie dough cookies. No, just cookie dough. I'll just do a grocery drop off. I can't They're stop only like it. Two thirty at two. I what find myself eat? eating a cookie dough. I get in the fridge. What kind do they get? Just the tube. The tubes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Brownies. This I cannot perfect. stop myself. I have z- my willpower is the worst. That's should, what I should have been doing this whole time. What? I'm gonna start doing it now. What? I would spend money to get you fat. I'm gonna. <laughs> Why does everybody want to get me fat? I'm not gonna be fat. I have my own agenda. I don't know what anybody else's agenda. What's is. yours? That I'm also fat, and you just made fun of my weight this morning. So I did not. You said you're gaining <laughs> weight. Listen, then what happens when you automatically drop it all? And then you, then you can will drop it all too. I'll motivate you. No, I think we need to do the opposite. You continue to gain weight, and I get into the best shape of my life. That doesn't make any sense. Why? It should be together. And then we're like, I know. And think about all the endorsements. Well, ain't there ain't nothing wrong with being fat. I don't want to be it. I don't want to be it. We could get a bunch of endorsements together of like losing weight. Yeah. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. My boys always steal my cookie dough when I'm trying to surprise them with fresh cookies. <laughs> You're not supposed to eat that cookie dough because it's got eggs in it raw. You eat the tube cookie dough. You're not supposed to eat that either. That's what I'm saying. But I used to eat raw eggs when I was back in the day. I'd do Rocky Balboa style. You ever done that? No, you Rocky do it. Rocky Balboa style. I would Rocky swallow. Rocky Balboa is uh, Gustav or whatever his name is. <clears throat> no, it's not Gustav. What's his name? What's I don't his know, name? but I'm not him. Yes, you are. No, I am not. <laughs> the guy, he is Gustav, Gary. Gustav, <clears throat> Gustav, You're Gustav. The, is it Gustav? What's his name? The villain from uh, Beauty I, and the Beast. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, no, the meat, the meat head. Gaston. Gaston. No one it is Gaston. like Gaston. She said da, 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 like Gaston. Da, 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 da. And he's like, well, I eat 12 dollars of eggs in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think he's a good looking guy. I'll be in for that. He's a good looking villain, I would say. That, but outside of that, no. He's jerk. Do the jerk. I've been eating raw cookie dough for over 50 years and never have gotten sick from it. I know. I don't know why they say you can't do it. It's the same thing as I'm saying you can't eat deli meats when you're pregnant. 
You're not supposed to eat deli meats when you're pregnant. No, but it's because there's like a very, it's the same risk as like you eating deli meats. Like you can get this thing called listeria. The problem is, is that your immune system's more down when you're pregnant. So you could have like worse symptoms, but like you're, it's very rare to get it. So we talked a little bit about this last week. Eric Church, how he he canceled a concert that he was having in Texas so he could watch the North Carolina Duke game. And then Jason Aldean came out after that and said, I would never do anything like that. I couldn't do that to my fans. Why didn't he even make a comment? Just be quiet. He was probably asked. So oh. what are you going to say? No comment? And what, it, you know, and right, he's also not going to say, yeah, I would do the same thing. Right. Okay, that makes sense if you were asked. But if he came out, I know, I'll be honest, Jason Aldean just seems like the type of person made to just come out and say that. Yeah, maybe. I don't Does he get any backlash, Kyle, Eric Church, from this? He's, yeah, he got some backlash from a lot of people. And then there were also the other side of things where, you know, it's just that guy who wants to go enjoy a sporting event and is calling in sick to work. Yeah. Yeah, but no, your work is not. No. No. If I call into so- sick to work, I am not disappointing b- a thousands of people and also like making them lose money. You know what I mean? Does this make it any better? He posted over the weekend. He tweeted this out. Thank you, San Antonio, for letting me take my family to this game. So he went to the game? Yeah. He I didn't know he game. went to the game. Yeah. It took a minute to figure out how and when I could properly express my thanks. I'll be coming to Whitewater Amphitheater in somewhere in Texas on Friday, September the 2nd, 2022, for a one-of-a-kind free show for those of you who bought tickets and were planning to attend our canceled show in San Antonio. Details to be announced soon. So my guess is what he's doing is he refunded everybody their money. Okay, and then he's inviting you only the people that were going to that show that were re- who we refunded the money to this free show. So you're getting to see Eric Church for free. Yeah, you ain't getting that flight back though. I know. There's that a hotel lot of, There's a lot of stuff. Yeah. Or just like the fact that people plan their own work schedules around doing stuff like that and plan their own lives and cancel things that they can't cancel again later. Like what if they took off days and now they can't take off days? It would be so hard, though, when you're at Eric Church and you know you have so much money and and it doesn't really matter. I don't want to hear how hard it is because you have so much money. That's the last thing. I'm telling you. Well, it's so hard for him because he has so much money. I know. That it doesn't matter. I know. I don't know who wins. Who's right in this? No. Are you upset? I I'll mean, perform for him. Can I get the money? I'll perform. <laughs> Nobody wants to see you perform. Nobody I think it'd be wants really to see you perform. Watching me try to sing songs I don't know. I think it'd be really funny. <laughs> I mean, don't you think that the amphitheater is going to be packed? People are going to go to that, aren't they? They're going to forgive him for this. Yeah, people will forgive him. I'm a huge They're sports celebrity. fan. I get it. I understand. I I understand it. I don't. I don't like the fact, and I hope I hope that people weren't out a ton of money, and, and that's the part that would be upsetting about it. I, why don't you just, you, okay, why didn't, if this, this was going to be such a big deal to you when you were doing your tour, and you knew that you're, if they're your favorite team ever, or whatever, your alma mater, why don't you just assume that they're going to make it and not do a, not do a I don't know that they that look, time? I don't know that they look at the, the, calendar that far to see what the or maybe it's not even out this well, it probably is wouldn't it, they at least like he announced those tour stops way before the <gasps> the tournament yeah but they also have got to secure those tournament locations years in advance mm-hmm. so but the, i mean what are the odds that north carolina and duke are going to be playing each other <coughs> in the semifinals yeah. and it's going to be coach k's last game and all of this <coughs> drama that was built up to it what if it, okay yeah I don't know. I just I don't either. I think it's still shady. Kyle, any two cents on it? I've got uh yeah, I've got nothing that's it, is it jacked up? Yes. But do I understand that this guy is wanting to be a part of sports history? 
<coughs> yes, I get it. And this team won. Hopefully there's not a concert Be tonight. Be a part of sports <laughs> history because you get to watch it. Go back and watch it on YouTube. Okay? Oh. <laughs> you no, don't understand. Gary, Gary no, I don't. don't understand oh. sports. Just hit the button and go. <laughs> Why? You don't understand sports. There are a lot of people so... out there like me, I guarantee it. Let I don't you, understand I'm gonna sports. Tell you, I'm going to tell you a dumb, uh, uh, how dumb I am and how mad I got over something stupid. <laughs> KU and Villanova, I'm a Kansas fan for basketball. Basketball only. They're playing, right? The game, are you Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. I got a tickle. The game was on TBS, right? So I'm watching TBS, and I, I don't see the game. The game had already started. And I'm like, what? Where is this game? I started throwing a tantrum. I started throwing a tantrum because I couldn't find <laughs> okay, a game. Okay, Aaron Church. I'm looking everywhere, and I can't find it. I go to CBS, and I'm like, I Googled it. Yeah. Kansas is up 10 to 2. I can't. I'm watching. It says it's on TBS. I'm watching TBS. And my son says to me, Dad, are you watching live? <laughs> I said, what? There's an option for that? And I looked, and and I was watching two hours early. And he said, just hit the live button. <laughs> what a loser. Yeah. And you threw a tantrum. Hit the live button, and there she was. Game was going on. <laughs> so I, why were you so <laughs> forward? <laughs> I was rewinded. I don't know why. I have no idea where I was. Why. I don't even know how I got there. Like the fact that your son had to say hit the live means that you, this yeah. is not the first time you've done yeah. it. Yeah, it sounds <laughs> like I've done it. Gary, we say Johanna Gary is waiting for us. We are performing at Center Park. Ooh, a nice job, Easy Beat. Jeff says, hey, Johanna, the hunks are at the gala at Lincoln for this Friday. Armando was asking about you. Was he? Armando. Tell him I'm pregnant. <laughs> it's not his. Yeah. Abby, Abby. 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 Happy. Happy. See you, Kristen. Goodbye. We'll see you, Kristen. Have a great day. Love. It's hot in here. I know it's super hot. I think I'm sweating and I did not put on deodorant today. And I, and I think I left my deodorant in the pee bag. So You don't smell. I don't? No, you're good. I've been smelling B.O. a lot lately, so I think I'm started thinking it was myself. Gary, are you excited? Opening day coming up? Football? He don't care. Sports. He don't care. <clears throat> yeah, but then he says he does care. Yeah. It's very confusing. Johanna, your hair is really pretty today. Thank you. It's very nice, very nice. I love watching you guys, but mom, duty calls. I hear you, girl. Duty, duty. And then he got the Jason Aldean quote out of context. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I just saw this picture of Justin Bieber with the shoes. Did you see the shoes? Yeah, the shoes remind me of the boots from Back to the Future. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those are really big. Everything's really big. Yeah. Don't you think if he... I feel like maybe it would have made more sense if the hat was really big as well. Yeah. You know? Like like everything. Everything. And the sunglasses, comically big. Yeah. I think I would have liked it better. Except somebody probably paid him to wear a pink Whitney vodka hat or whatever it's called. I do not play Call of Duty. What a miss. I just looked more at Justin Bieber's outfit with his wifey. And the boots are confusing. I'm just all, it's just very, very strange. Ooh, let's see what I got. What'd Somebody you get? Somebody wanting to buy something. I guarantee it's not a real person. What do you want to bet? What? I don't understand it. 
But this girl, you are not from here. Everybody's being so nice about my hair. Thank you guys. You're really helping me. I I don't I wasn't not really feeling great about myself yesterday, so thank you. Okay, can I talk about something quick? What? Something that I'm selling. What are you selling? I'm selling the wheelchair. Mm -hmm. The doggy chair. I thought yeah. you already had someone interested. Was it a fake person? How many fake people are you getting? A are lot. You? I'm getting a lot of fake people. But no, this is a real person. But here's the deal. This guy says to me a message. He says, uh, I'm hurting for money. How low will you go? He said, I'm hurting for money. That's what he said. I'm hurting oh, for money. Who cares? Okay, that's now. not my problem. Say, I'm hurting for money. That's why I'm selling it. Okay, so he says to me, uh, wait a minute. Where is it? Uh, I'll tell you what he said. I'm hurting for money. What's the lowest you can go? I'm just trying to get my shepherd used to it. And I said, hmm, okay. So I go to his site. He's a real person. He lives in Lincoln. Okay. And I noticed that he has had two fundraisers for this dog to get a wheelchair. And one of them, he raised $1,400. What happened to the money? Where's the wheelchair? Don't know. Don't know where the money is. So now he started up a new fundraiser just recently, and now he's got, so far, he's just started, he got zero dollars. So he already uh, earned $1,300. $1,400, Four yeah. I need a wheelchair, guys. <clears throat> yeah. So <laughs> now that I saw, if I, I saw that, I, I knocked a little off. I chipped a little off. I shouldn't have. You shouldn't have. But I still, it's still like $300 Why you less. Why didn't you say to him? I would have literally said to him. Hey, it looks like you got you got fourteen hundred dollars donated. I'll sell it to you for thirteen hundred. You said that. Yeah, hundred dollars off. Deja vu on that one. <laughs> I think my wife said the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh no way! Smart yeah, girls think alike. I suppose. But I bought the thing for five hundred dollars. That's yeah. great. Like, what happened to the fourteen hundred dollars? He's bought the thing for that much money, and then. You, his poor old Daisy used it how many times? She hated it. She didn't even But that's that. my problem. I didn't follow directions. Oh, You're yeah. supposed to leave it in there and let him sniff it and stuff. I just strapped her in one day. She's scared <laughs> to death. She's like, what the hell am I strapped to? <laughs> so she runs? Aww. No, she just ran to me to take it off, Dad. Take it off. Oh, that's so sad. She'd rather drag her legs on the ground. That's get so blood all over my oh tile. Oh, my gosh. Stop. It's so sad. <laughs> I can't believe I never see you cooks for that. What a jerk. Yeah, you never sent cookies. I'll make you some. Dairy free. <laughs> nasty. <laughs> nasty, nasty cookies. <laughs> nope. Nope. Yeah. I'll be all right. Thought that counts, yeah? Yeah, I keep thinking about it. So I think it's the law thoughts count. Let me see if old Phil's going to go today. Phil, Phil. Maybe the money paid the I'll go. bills, maybe. I'll go. Oh, is that, like, bad <laughs> if I say that? That probably, uh, the is. that probably is bad. <laughs> I don't know. I can see Joanna out there just making noises. <laughs> yeah, I would do that all the whole hey. time. Drew? You saying Drew? I don't know what I'm saying. I was saying words, not I did not say. You that. should really come down when you get that baby out before you get. Why can't I go before now? You reload. The baby's fine. <sighs> before you reload. The baby is being comforted by the, my womb. Just get used to it, Kyle. Every couple of years we get a surprise. Get blessed. Every out. couple of years, every four years. I haven't been pregnant for four years. You realize that? The kids are not four years old. No, but it was nine months before they were born, so that's three years plus nine months. <laughs> no, don't you do that. Yeah, I oh, didn't do that. Kids are three already? My kids are over three years old. Yes, they turned three in January. I'm happy for you. I am. Wrong with I you. really am happy for you. Sad I don't want to be. I would one didn't want. My kids are going to be almost four by the time I have this baby. I'm going to have a four year gap between my kids. I don't want any bigger of a gap. But Mama say she done. I do not want to get pregnant ever again. We got to figure out what we're going to do when you're gone for real. For reals. Like we need to start incorporating. You don't care. Just don't even me. act like you do. Yes, I do. Why wouldn't out I of sight, that? out of mind? I get it. Because you're gonna have this true. new baby. You got all oh kinds my gosh. of excitement. This is hysterical that you're even gonna even kind of say anything like this when poor Johanna. I was just talking to someone else. People usually take like twelve weeks 
off. And I had twins and a C-section. I took exactly six weeks to the day. Yeah, trained, but that was... I trained my babies to work around my schedule. Then when I came back, you know what I used to do? Breastfeed. No appreciation. I used to wake me, myself and my children up at 4 a.m. to breastfeed. Then get here, have to pump during the show. You know what? You're speaking like a real hard worker. That's a real hard worker right there who's trying to get ahead in life. You know what I mean? Yes, and it worked for you. Look at you. You're full time now. So why are you all concerned? This is one baby. Why am I all concerned? Why are you all concerned? You I've act told like you I'm like concerns. I could care less about this. Job. Kyle, are you concerned? No, not at all. Oh, see, now that puts all the concern on me. That gives me 100% concerns. I'm not concerned. We need to start bringing people in. Do you understand that she does all the bookings pretty much? That's a great point. <laughs> <laughs> then you're not concerned. No, we bring someone in. And do what? I don't know. That's your answer. That's my answer. Bring someone in. That's not the answer. Let's just bring someone in. Guys, it's not going to be good. I'm telling you right now, I'm worried. Like, big time worried. Oh my gosh. I'm going to take a six week vacation. I'll do it for my We need my someone house. to sit here, anyways, right? What does that mean? You think I, don't, I thought we were looking for someone to come in. Well, you tell me how we are. I. Listen, I need more solutions from you because you're going to be our boss soon. Oh, doubt that. I'll still book. Yes, you are. I'll still book if I get paid. No, no. You're not getting full pay for For now. For booking. Yes. For booking while I'm gone. No, you should do it out of just kindness of your heart. No, I'm not booking then. If I'm not getting paid, I'm not booking. No, you got all kinds of extra time. No. Yeah, I'm going to have all kinds of extra time. (laughs) I'm going to be booking my. All kinds of extra time. She's already booking them boobies. Yeah, exactly. Boobies books all day long. <laughs> she got fine time. <sighs> He'll be fine. Don't worry. He'll be fine. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Mark my word. You can call me every day. I'm probably going to be in a bad mood. Call for me about every six day. Weeks. <laughs> Thank God I won't be here then. My You're goodness. the reason. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes. <laughs> You always blame me for your moods, and it's not me. Just make sure he works out. (laughs) Just make sure he works out. Cam accountability. You need to take responsibility for yourself sometimes. Kyle? (laughs) What about Kyle? (laughs) I wasn't looking up. I thought you were talking about you. Kyle? No, I was talking about you. Have that girl who filled in last time from the station with the glasses. She did good. We've thought about that. Each day, have a Cam Fan member come in and sit in. I'll do it. It'll be fine. But you don't understand the. Core. Understand. It's not just about having someone sit in. He's stressed about booking. Gary, do and content. Send you my car? And content. I could be your content every day. Like, just call me. Just call me. I don't need everything's going to be fine. Because <laughs> that ain't the way life works. Yes, it does. Rents do, All mortgages do. Mortgage is due. Ain't nobody got jobs. Everything going to be fine. That's <laughs> fine. the way it works. It will be fine. That's not the way it, it works. It will be fine. I'm just saying, I've been saying it'll be fine, and it's been fine so far. I say, I say, I say. I say, I say. We say. What the hell? Come on. Get on there. Get on there. I'm sick of my lips being dry AF. Oh, my child. Why am I still single? Update this morning. It, it, uh, there's nothing really. It didn't go well after all. We're all high on this. Why am I still single? Steel. We still love the idea, and we're going to implement it from this point forward. So on Thursday, when you're listening and watching the show, if you think at any point leading up to them taking the goggles off, you have to contact the show before they see each other. But if there is something in you saying, I think this is, I don't like when people say this, but my person, you message the show and we'll give that person that you think is your person an option to entertain your steal. That happened last week. And, and so Josh and Krista, they, here they were. 
She's listening to the show. She's driving into work. She thinks that he's the guy that she's supposed to be with. How did she reach out, Kyle? She just messaged us or she say something she on the cam? She was saying something on the cam, yeah. Said something on the cam. We reach out. We make it happen quickly. We ask uh, Kayla, who is actually on the show, to meet Josh. We feel there's not a vibe, really. Yeah, you can just tell. And so we pull her aside. He couldn't hear. He was in the waiting room. And we said, listen... Are you feeling what we think you're feeling? She said, yeah. We say, you can get out of here. If you don't want, it's okay. There's another girl that wants to meet him. Right. And she goes, no, oh my gosh, it's going to be so rude. No, no. No, we got someone else. Yeah. She goes, yeah, okay. I was probably going to say cold anyway. So she left. Girl came in, Krista. She met Josh. They both said hot. They went on a date. Now, all of this happened on Thursday. They went on a date on Friday. Mm. down there at a uh, Texas Roadhouse. Have you guys been down there? I haven't. Yes. The line is cra- I mean, it must be really good. I don't go in there because it's peanuts. They have really there. good rolls, I hear, with that cinnamon butter. Yeah. hmm I just was always scared to go because if you tell them it's your birthday, if someone tells them You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they bring out like a... You got to sit on like a saddle. <laughs> they saddle you up? I think they saddle you up. Yeah. I didn't know that. Is that real or somebody might say that? Yeah. It's real. You've I'm pretty seen sure it? my no. I think my my sister did it to me, and I'm pretty sure I had this vague memory, and it, it wasn't my birthday. She lied. Well, she got me to lie with her because I thought it was like just free dessert. Well, I was getting free dessert. <laughs> You're that person that lies about free birthdays to get desserts. Yes, absolutely. I know I've missed enough birthdays to make up for fa- a couple having a couple fake ones. You know. Uh huh. Well, Nikki says it's real, by yeah. the way. Yeah, you got to get on the thing and you go. Oh. You have to do that. And they no, sing and dance. I think I did. Them. Yeah, they sing and sing around you while you're on the, the saddle. <laughs> hmm. You want to go with me? The Texas Road. Is house. it your birthday? I'll no, do it for it's your all birthday. Th- oh. <laughs> if it's your birthday, I'll uh, do it. No, I'll whisper to the waiter. Everybody's it's saying they saddle you up. I've never heard of that before. He's always wanting to be saddled up. <laughs> It's his birthday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'd be so fun. Maybe Krista and Josh should have done that because it did not go well. It did not. He wouldn't. He Nobody's didn't saddle him. He didn't talk. <laughs> yeah. He didn't talk very much on the cam either. No, to guys, talk when you go on a date. Think of something. Ask yeah. some questions. Don't just sit there. That's kind of what happened, evidently. And uh, and she felt that, and she said not. She on. told him. I mean, I respect yeah. that too. She just she just told him straight up. It wasn't going to work. Yeah. And then he right away messaged us. And like, I'm pretty sure he messaged us that night. And what did he say? He said, We didn't click. Can I get on the show again? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my yeah. gosh. At least he gets to the point. Yeah, we're right. Okay. Two sentences, Man, two short sentences. Many few words, yeah. So if you want to be on the show on Thursday, let us know. That's the first thing uh, with Michael Tish Jewelers every Thursday. Why am I still single? The other thing, again, is we're going to do this. We're going to try this deal thing. It may not happen every week, and it probably won't, but just know that it is there if you are listening. And what the benefit of this is, is you can see the person that you're interested in. Mm-hmm. Like when we bring you on the show, you you don't know because it's a blind date. And we've had a lot of success with the blind date Ton. for sure. We got, we, I just found out about another couple yeah. that got married off of our show. Yeah. But, yeah, we like this little throw a little it's wrench a little into there. Yeah, yeah absolutely. I like it. So we'll do it again on Thursday. Why am I so single with Michael Tish Jewelers? Guess where? Guess where? Oh, long dong, ding dong, long dong. When I'm alone in my room, sometimes I sit with the wall, and in the back of my mind, I hear my conscience go. They don't sink. They make everyone say, yee-haw to you. I knew it was something like that. It's been many, many a year since I've gone. Tell me, need to go. Sweet as a dove, for the foot of my life. I think I need love. I got a new, uh, like, beard trimmer. Yeah, how to go. I like it. It's got, uh, it's got an attachment for eyebrows. Oh, did you do it? No, I'm scared. Oh. Are your I eyebrows, you got bushy eyebrows? Uh, they can get a little long sometimes. But you get the thick right. ones you have to pull out? No. Not yet? I haven't pulled any out yet. But I'm afraid to try the eyebrow trimmer. But I want to try it. I don't even know how you would do that. Yeah, it's, I think it's just a certain length and you just... Do it. Try it. Oh, <laughs> that would stress me up. Yes. That is stressful. 
Because you can't just have one eyebrow jacked up, right? Yeah, you can. I think you'd have to go both, and then they just go, man, that guy's got jacked up eyebrows. I don't know. I don't know what's worse. What is worse? What's the question? Like, if you, he went to shave one of his eyebrows. All the way? No, just trim it. Do oh, a metro trim style? job, okay? <laughs> so he trims one eyebrow, and it looks jank. Do you do the other one to make to it? To match trim? it? Yeah, or do you just say, why don't you grow your hair out and just do this? <laughs> How, what do you mean jank? Just wear like a patch. Like it looks, like it's patchy. patchy. Like there's a few like cuts out of it. Ooh, I'd probably leave it. No. You wouldn't do the other one? This I, think, I don't think You ever wax your eyebrows, either. Kyle? Don't lie. Yeah, I've had girls Waxed who have cut my hair waxed. don't lie like you would lie about that. Who cares? A lot of guys get their eyebrows waxed. A lot of guys. Well, guys who like go to like legit barbers, they'll like they'll do. Like, that barbers, the barbers don't do that. Yes, they do. Bar- no, Kyle. No. Barbers have changed, Gary. You don't like. Like barber barbers, <clears throat> they like, do like crazy. I get my nose yeah. waxed. They yeah. can wax your eyebrows. They'll like, do your ears. Like everything. you can get a facial from your barber. Like, yeah. It's okay to take care of yourself. You can get. A- I'm not saying it's not. No, he's just saying it's Metro. <laughs> Guys, is it supposed to be nice out today? It's only 32 degrees right now, and I need it to warm 60s. up my ferns. Yeah, it's going to be nice today. I'm just waiting for it to stop being so cold at night so I can leave my plants outside. I really bought my plants way too soon. Well, Friday, a low of 26, so. Are you freaking kidding Oh, yeah, it's not done yet. It's going to be cold still. So annoying. It's only April. I don't care. It needs to just get nice out now. This is what you get for living here. But yeah. Oh, punish me. 44 <laughs> on Thursday. It takes some getting used to if you're not from here. I've said that a million times. You're from the Midwest still. It doesn't matter. I'm telling you, Lincoln and where I'm from in Missouri, like, we have a spring down there. Like, I remember it's as really a kid. It's really not that far away, though. I know. It doesn't make any sense. But in in March in Missouri. You remember this from being a child? Yeah. So it, I barely remember, and I'm younger and, than you. Okay, you tell me the difference between March. Childhood. What is March? When you think of March here, what do you think of? I think of nice and then a random snow. It's cold. And then nice and then a random snow. It's cold. April is sometimes when you get that. You go straight from winter to summer here. You do. You don't get all seasons. Yeah, I agree. It very, does. very short spring. Not it's, much of it. It does skip seasons, I would say. Because fall is my absolute freaking favorite, and it always gets kind of skipped. It's like very I think short-lived. we get a little bit of fall. We get a little bit of fall. Yeah, fall's so nice here. No, it's not. It still is not long enough. I want full fall. I want fall to be in August. I want it to start in August, and I want it to go into... Maybe like September. I know, but I want it to start in August. What if we get a full fall in November? If all of November was fall, I don't care about August. You're right. I'll give you August if I get all of November. But the problem is, is November becomes snow. Yeah. And sometimes it snows in October. Yeah. I remember one time it snowed on Halloween. I know. I remember many a times as a kid going out trick-or-treating and it being snowy. Or just cold. <sighs> Which I gotta think of a good idea for the family. The yeah, show, the family. I'm like stressing out about it because I'm gonna have a baby then. So I gotta think. I gotta think now and get it planned. I already bought some decorations for Halloween. More. I'm making a big. I'm. Dane told me I'm being silly because apparently I'm not gonna have time. Yes, I am. <laughs> yes, I am. Yes, I am. Gonna make time. Well, listen to this. I know. This is the last thing I'm going to say about this. Say it. I've been working really hard to make our yard cool and fun for Halloween, okay? And there's this one other yard in our neighborhood that they always decorate. They always go all out for every holiday. They got, like, a big tree, and they put, like, tons of ornaments on it. Whatever. Okay. Whatever. I don't even compete with them. And we're kind of different tastes anyway, so whatever. I don't care. So our house was the coolest house on the block for weeks before Halloween. Weeks, okay? Then... I take my kids out on Halloween, and out. all of a sudden, this guy, three houses down, what, just overnight, the night before Halloween, you're just going to bust out all this crap, like freaking, like, scream. He had, like, 
screens in the ground making graveyards. Ooh, <laughs> and I said to him, I said, this is really cool, and I want to be mad at you. I can't because it's so cool, but I am so a little cool. mad. Where did this come from? <laughs> Adios. Have a great day today. 60s, it looks like. Pretty nice. For the next few days, enjoy it. Tomorrow, the I Do IQ Challenge with A.T. Thomas Jewelers. I think we may have another parent and child. Right or wrong? Is that Correct. Booked? That's booked or yeah. yay or nay? Yeah, it's booked. Okay. Woo. Is it a mom and son or what's yeah. it? Okay. Amanda and her son. Nice. All right. It'll be a lot of fun. Tomorrow morning, don't miss that. And uh, we also have got for you, don't forget, just before we leave, if you want to win, we just started this today. This is our hometown hot list with Lincoln Mattress and Furniture. Uh, just a real quick, while you're thinking about it, go to froggy981.com and enter today's keyword, which is Lincoln. And it's with uh, Da Vinci's. You'll have a chance to win a $50 gift card to Da Vinci's. And then also, just for entering, you'll have a chance to win gift cards valued at over $750 from all of our hometown hot list featured businesses. Again, go to froggy981.com and enter that today's keyword, which is a link, and we'll have a new keyword and a new business for you tomorrow. Anything else before we leave? No, I don't think so. Thank what you. a great Monday. Oh, I'll tell you what. If you missed... Today's worst date of the week. <laughs> the worst thing that could happen to a woman. She was safe and everything. She was safe. But what her eyes saw, she cannot unsee. <laughs> something happened in her house the man was doing. And couldn't even, like, end the date even after it happened because of something yeah. else. Like, you got to go right, back yeah. and listen. It's insane. Go back and check out the show on the Tracy's Collision Cam uh, on Facebook, on YouTube, also on the Nebraska Now channel on well, Roku, Fire Stick. And on, what's the other one? Um, Twitch. Uh, Twitch, yeah. Go check the show out and hang on for a ton of music coming your way next. Wait, 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 wait. Apples, uh, it was fire the Fire Stick. Hmm. Apple TV. Hmm. Uh, no, Apple TV. Hi, All right. Goodbye.